The snow is also coming down in Washington, stalling a lot more than the traffic. Uh, Congress taking a snow day, canceling a hearing in the House on the Republican health care plan. As the White House fires back over that new report from the Congressional Budget Office, it estimates the number of people without insurance would jump by 14 million next year, 24 million over 10 years. ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has the details. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. The White House is pushing back on those numbers before they were even out, calling them absurd, inaccurate, and they say they stand by their health care plan. Strong words from the White House. The health secretary emerging from the West Wing on Monday to fight back against that report that delivers a blow to the president's promise of insurance for everybody. We disagree strenuously uh, with, uh, with with the report that was put out. We think they, that uh, CBO simply has it wrong. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimates the plan to repeal and replace Obamacare would leave 14 million more Americans without insurance next year. And within a decade, the number of uninsured growing by 24 million. The president not backing down, saying the House Republican plan is just the first offer. We're negotiating with everybody. It's a big, fat, beautiful negotiation. And Speaker Paul Ryan trying to stay positive. This is a good work in progress. We're extremely excited about this. And I'm really actually, frankly, encouraged. But for Democrats, there is nothing encouraging about it. Trump care would be a nightmare for the American people. And this morning, another looming showdown over wiretapping. The deadline for the Justice Department to provide evidence to back up President Trump's claim that President Obama wiretapped him met with a request for more time. Press Secretary Sean Spicer now trying to walk back the wiretapping accusation altogether. The president used the word wiretap, in quote, to mean broadly surveillance and other activities. He said they were in quotes. It was referring to surveillance overall. Yes, two tweets from the president put quotes around wiretap. But in others, nope, no quotes. The president's words crystal clear. This is a tweet from the president. Doesn't the president have an obligation to, does, prove and I think the, made to make very, the evidence clear? Right, and he, we've made it very clear that we expect the House and the Senate Intelligence Committees to do their job. And the weather's so bad here in Washington today, it forced the White House to, ke to postpone a visit between the president and German Chancellor Angela Merkel that was supposed to happen today, George, that will now happen here at the White House on Friday. Cecilia, the White House the administration attacking that CBO report, but President Trump often cited the CBO in the past in order to attack President Obama. Yeah, George, some selective use of data seems to be happening here. The president has used these same numbers, as you say, in the past to criticize President Obama on everything from health care to unemployment. And conversely, just last week when he praised these job numbers that helped his administration, he's used those to, he's called them phony and totally fictional in the past, George. Well, that's when they disagree with him. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much.